Experience all football has to offer. See Victory League live. Right, so you're checking a bit of cop a bit of flack, I suppose, off Devonport after changing sides. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, um, probably get a bit emotional. Expect a couple, of, you know, a few hard tackles and whatnot. But the way I see it, that's how it is. As long as it stays on the pitch, I'm happy. Did what? you make the move purely for football reasons, or? No, I was more so just to see change. Wanted to get out of where I was because I was in Devonport, just a small town. Thought, you know, change of scenery would be nice. And um, I'd spoke to Nick previously, and he said, you know, there's always room here if you like. And um, I followed up on that and come over. How have you found the zebras so far? Yeah, good, a lot different to, um, you know, up north. It's sort of different football style. They, you know, the way they do things is a bit different, but um, enjoying it so far. It's been good, you know, starting to know the boys, so can't complain. And do you reckon, is there a change in intensity between the two teams? Uh, yes and no. I mean, it seems a little bit like there could be, I'm not saying there's none down here, but sometimes they play a bit more hard up home. Um, whether that's the quality's not quite up there as it is down here or not, but I do find that that's a bit different. But other than that, the intensity is pretty good. So you do see a, a, a difference in style between you know the northwest and, and down here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like simple things like even just laying a hard tackle on up there, it's second nature down here. They just don't seem to do it as much all the time. But um, I'm hoping to bring a bit of that you know northwest mentality down here, and you know it'll help them out down here as well. Cut hard tackles on teams. At Adding a bit of mongrel to the team, well, that's you think? It, yeah, so hopefully it'll work out well. And do you think you, you kind of will know the opposition pretty well, so you know how they'll play? So do you, think, do you feel like you have a mental edge on them? Um, for the team, yeah. I mean, myself mentally is a bit, like I said, it's going to be a bit emotional, but um, I think knowing how they play, because I've been there, like you say, um, should definitely get our foot in the door a bit more. And did the Zebras look strong this year? Uh, well, apparently we're favourites from some people's point of view, but, you know, what sports like, you don't really know, but um, with the side we've got, it is strong, so hopefully we can push definitely for top four and even win. I can't see why we can't, so, yeah. yeah. How do you see this weekend's football? Oh, from our perspective, it'll be a, a big ask coming up against a, an informed Olympia side, even though they had a hiccup last week. Um, but our boys have uh, trained very well this week. Uh, ball's been moving a lot quicker than it has in the past, and. Uh, we're getting used to the, the faster level of play that's required to compete. Um, what do you think will be your team's strengths this year? Well, I think we've got a, a few different avenues to go this year. We've got uh, Jean, Cohen and Kenny up front. Uh, a three-pronged attack and I think that'll keep most defences uh, on their toes for 90 minutes. And do you think the Zebras might be the team to beat this year? Oh, look, on paper, they're a good uh, group of individual players. Uh, Getting them to gel as a team and perform over 90 minutes uh, will be the, the task. How and does, you, sorry, you go. Oh, so how, how do you go about taking on the dominance of South Hobart? Because people are talking about the Zebras, but you know, really, it's it's all about South Hobart, isn't it? Not really. I mean, South South Hobart's been beatable. Uh, it's just a, ma a matter of people uh, being able to, to match their consistency. So you can beat them in a one-off game, but then you've got to be able to front up the next week and beat other opposition as well. And that's how they've got through in a couple of their season wins is that other teams have, have dropped points elsewhere. Um, so this season will be very interesting because I think that there is a lot more evidence about the competition than, than previously. And I think South may well drop points where they don't expect to.